about uh, 10 years or so ago, my metabolism changed for some reason, and I used to work in the morning, but I started working in the afternoon, so my working day starts after lunch, about half past two or thereabouts, and continues on through the afternoon to um, early evening, half past six, seven o'clock. Then I stop, because I'm knackered. Um, and sometimes you might have seen in this fridge uh, a manuscript because uh, I write in longhand and the safest place in the house to keep your manuscript is the fridge, apparently. Um, your house can burn down but the contents of your fridge will still be intact. So uh, it's a very good place to store precious things. Um, that's my writing day. Starts at two, finishes about half six, seven and I do it seven days a week, and it, uh, I get things done. Uh, and I've worked in this room here for about um, 18 years now. It's, uh, it's the biggest room I've ever worked in, which is why I probably feel comfortable in it. Um, I, I live in Chelsea, so I'm surrounded by memories of, of other dead writers. Within 100 yards of this house, you've got John Betjeman's house, Mark Twain's house. George Eliot's house, so the, the, the vibes are, are quite good in Chelsea, I think, for a writer. Um, so I like this room. Um, it's full of books, um, a lot of poetry that I read. It's also full of the, the mini libraries that I acquire while I'm writing a novel, uh, the research that goes into the novel. So when I look around the shelves here, I can see them almost like geographical strata um, of earlier books of mine. So you'll have a shelf for Brazzaville Beach, a shelf for the, for the New Confessions. It's as if this room is a little time capsule of my writing life. And, and behind me here is the, uh, the next library for, for my next novel, which I've just started and uh, I have everything I need to hand. I like to physically write my first draft. I think there's something about that link between head, hand and page it's very important that somehow affects the, the rhythms and cadences of your prose, which you don't get if you write onto a, a screen. And I use this type of pen. It's a German Rotring graphic designer's pen with a very fine nib black ink, and it suits my tiny little cramped handwriting very well. I can write for about, I suppose, three hours a day, flat out. And in, in that day, I, I know almost to within 10 words how much I've written round about between 800, 1,500 words a day is a good day's work for me. Also in this room, there's a, a great mass of memorabilia from my various films and, and from my own life. Here on this mantelpiece, you find um, the typical accretion, I think, that builds up in any writer's room. Uh, a poster from the film that I wrote, my novel, Good Man in Africa, another bit of film memorabilia here, Charlie Chaplin, Little Tramp, I wrote the script of Richard Attenborough's film Chaplin, as so I've always I've had that since then. These are my father's golfing and boxing trophies that have uh, arrived uh, in my care. A um, few postcards, uh, a rare photograph of Anton Chekhov, the current uh, favourite writer, and um, this, I suppose I've lived in this room for 18 years and worked in this room, and. Uh, it really is uh, somewhere I'm very at home and everything that's in here has some sort of message and meaning for me. If I had to grab one thing before I ran out of it for the last time, it would be in that cupboard there because there I keep my journals, which I've been keeping for over 25 years now. And so if I had to grab something, it would be those notebooks that I'd take with me as the, the final bit of evidence of my writing life.